It was night time. It was just the night lights. I've been walked on to the wing and all you can see is the landings above you. You're looking up so tall, you feel so small. You've got the lengths of the landings running up, running down. You can see all the doors. You're wondering who's behind those doors. What door am I going to go behind? Who am I going to be sharing the cell with? You pushed in the door, the door shuts behind you. Bang, done, right, okay. That door is shut. One month, one year, 10 years. So you have to get used to being behind that door and it only opening and closing when somebody else decides. As you're being escorted out, the prison officer, in a very sarcastic, a very cynical a way that you're not going to want to back answer because you're leaving. You don't want to say anything back because it jeopardises anything. So he's allowed to say it. OK, boys, I'll go out, have fun, spend your money, see you in a month. And you think... But for me, I'm thinking, no, I've got that hope. I ain't going to see him again. Two months later, I'm walking back through that gate and I see him. He looks at me, gives me that look. And I just think, you know... It was after, just after a late night shopping in a city. I'm watching everyone smiling, they're going home, they're going to have their tea, put the TV on, it's going to be warm, it's going to be nice. I'm thinking about where am I going to sleep tonight? Is it going to be that doorway? I'm thinking about the next morning when I wake up. Am I going to need drugs? Am I going to make that appointment? And I think, right, I don't want that. I'm going to go back to prison. It may be the smallest, smallest amount, but at least there there is going to be that officer or there is going to be that other inmate or there is going to be the carrots worker that will come and spend that smallest amount of time. Two weeks later, I might be behind that prison door and I might be, oh, actually, did I do the right thing? No, I didn't because I'm eating crap. I'm stuck with a loser in this cell and I don't want to be here anymore. So, get, you know, but... So the last time I left through that prison door, they were ready to say, right, what does this person need? It's not selfish. This guy's been through a lot. So let's work with him and let's turn this situation around. Let's pull him out of the situation that he's in and make something different. I would go through the drugs and alcohol services door. I would go through the probation door. People are going to help me with the mental health door, doctor's door. All those different kinds of doors before I actually achieve the one that I'm hoping for which is the one that I feel safe behind and which is mine, which would be my own home front door.